Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to install and configure a Samba server on Ubuntu 24.04. Samba is a powerful tool that allows you to share files and printers between Unix or Linux and Windows systems, so let's dive right in. First, let's update our package list to make sure we have the latest versions. Open your terminal and type the following commands. By the way, I am connected to a VPS machine remotely and Ubuntu is the OS installed on the VPS. The desktop machine I am using is Linux Mint. Next, we need to install Samba. This command installs two packages, Samba and Nautilus Share. Nautilus Share, this package integrates Samba with the Nautilus file manager, which is the default file manager for the GNOME desktop environment. It allows you to easily share folders via Samba directly from the Nautilus file manager by right-clicking on a folder and selecting the sharing options. So running this command sets up both the Samba server and the Nautilus extension for easier file sharing management through the graphical user interface. To check the service status of the Samba server, use this command. This command provides a complete and detailed status report of the Samba service without truncating any information and without paging the output. This includes information about whether the service is active, its recent log entries, and other relevant status details. To enable the service and start it automatically, on system boot use this command. This is useful for ensuring that the Samba service is both active now and will be active after any future system reboots. Let's add our current system user to the Samba share group so it can access all files and folders shared under it. This command adds the current user to the Samba share group. This is useful for granting the current user the necessary permissions to create and manage Samba shares through the Samba share group. E set the password for sharing. This will differ from your system password. This command adds the current user to the Samba password database and sets a Samba password for that user. When you run this command, you will be prompted to enter and confirm a new Samba password for the specified user. This password is used when the user accesses shared resources on the Samba server. Next, let's create the shared directory and set the appropriate permissions. This command creates a new directory named Linux Share in the home directory with super user privileges. After running this command, a new directory will exist and it can be used for storing files or configuring as a shared directory in a Samba setup. Next, give ownership of the created folder to your current user. This command changes the ownership of the home Linux share directory to the user root and the group root
to specify which folder or directory you want to share over the network using the SMB protocol, you need to define it in the Samba server's configuration file. This file manages the settings and shares available on your Samba server. Add a new Samba share. The provided configuration is for the directory we created named Linux Share. You need to replace Linux Share with your directory name and update path with the actual path to your directory. Additionally, replace Ubuntu with your current system user who has been added to the Samba group. Restart the Samba server to apply the changes. We are now done with the configurations. Let's now access the shared directory from a Windows machine. In the search box, type the following. Replace the server IP address with the actual IP address of your server and shared folder with the actual name of the shared folder. Press enter if prompted. Enter your login credentials username and password you created earlier to authenticate. That's it. You should now be able to access the shared directory from your Windows machine. Let us now map the shared folder as a network drive for easy access. You should now see the shared directory and be able to read and write files to it. And that's it. You've successfully installed and configured a Samba server on Ubuntu 24.04. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.